Dolly? Dolly, I was wondering if we could, uh, if we could talk a bit. In the, in the morning. Well, I'm worried about you. Well, don't be. I, I'm fine, and we can talk first thing in the morning. Listen, um, I, I think I, I understand what you're, what you're going through. You're getting ready to leave everything you've ever known, everyone you've ever known. Go to a new place, new country, never been to before. Uh, I'm not afraid. I, I hear it's pretty where I'm going. It is. Peaceful. Yeah, very much so. You'll love Italy. It'll be like a, a new adventure for you. Yeah. Why don't you come on out and uh, have a bite to eat, huh? I'll build, your, uh, build your fire if you would like. Can, can I ask you a favor? Of course. I want you to go back home. I want you to go back and be with Riva and Mara and Shane. You want me to leave you here alone? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. I, I will. I just need some time to prepare myself before I go away. I'm sorry, but I can't, uh, I can't do that if Alan shows up. But you said I'd be safe here. You will be, as long as I'm here to protect you. Alan will never find me. I just don't think I'm going to feel comfortable until I know that you're on a plane and on your way out of the country. Do we really have to talk through this door? <laughs> I just, I don't want you to see me like this with my eyes all puffy from crying. I've seen you cry before. Doesn't matter how you look. It does to me. I want you to remember me the way I looked that night you took me to the country club. You look beautiful. I did? Yes, of course you did. You are beautiful. Really? Absolutely. I knew it. I knew I looked good that night. Pretty. Why don't you open the door? Can I ask you something? Yes. I, I don't want this to make you feel uncomfortable, and I'm not trying to make anything out of it. And I know how you feel about Riva and how you two belong together and always will. What is it you wanted to ask me? Well, I wanted to ask you if, if 
there was ever a time when you thought Riva was dead and never coming back? Was there ever a time when you actually felt something for me? Did you ever truly love me? It was romantic. It was passionate on both our parts, both Blake and mine. Anything you'd like to add to that? I've been watching you work. It's impressive. You're efficient. High praise coming from you. I've been watching you as well. Mm -hmm. Watching, listening. And what have you heard? Hmm. Let's see here. You uh, arrived in Springfield from New York and almost immediately began a campaign of revenge against your brother. Do you know why? He kept you from knowing your mother. Good, you've done your homework. I always do. <laughs> you also withheld evidence in the case against Abigail Bloom. Not proven. That's all you have to say? There's nothing more to say. Beth. Hi, uh, Beth. Uh, sorry Hi. to interrupt. Not at I... all. Not at all. Beth Rains, this is Detective DeMarco. Hello. How do you do? I, uh, thought... Can you do me a favor and wait for me at the bar? There's just a couple of things I want to tie up here. Right? Sure. Sure, no, yes. no problem. Nice to have met you, Detective. And you as well. <clears throat> yes? Beth Rains. Yes? The woman your office prosecuted for murder. Yes. And also the woman you were sleeping with while acting district attorney. Beth is a friend. I can see that. Good. I've heard your file over many times, Mr. Warren. A real page turner, huh? Oh, certainly is. <laughs> You've made no secret of your interest in your brother's wife. No. Or your vow to steal her away. Well, it wasn't exactly a blood oath. I didn't slice my finger with a bowie knife. I'm glad to hear it. There was a time. I toyed with the idea of seducing Blake to hurt Ross, disrupt his family. But what happened the night Blake was shot had nothing to do with that. She and I made love, consensual love. A woman gets a restraining order to keep a man away from her and then consents to make love to him? I find that highly unusual. She wasn't afraid of me. She was afraid of herself. She violated that restraining order again and again. In fact, she delivered it to me in person. That's kind of unusual, don't you think? Why would she do that? She wanted to see me. She couldn't stay away. Don't tell me you've never felt that way about a man. You were raped. You were the victim of a violent act. Sh 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 shouldn't have opened the door. Shouldn't have let him in. Shouldn't have accepted his gift. No, you tried to get away from him, but you couldn't. No. And you didn't have a chance to call for help. No. Blake, if anyone is to blame, it's me. No. Well, no. Because I know what kind of a man my brother is. And I should have done something, everything, to protect you. Ross, this is not your fault. None of it. Blake, I was the one who fired the gun. Dear God, I see it all the time now. I see it over and over, and it's in slow motion. I'm coming home. And I open the door. And you're crying. And Ben is touching you. And the gun is in my hand. And I aim it at my brother. And I pull the trigger. No, no, Ross, don't do this and to yourself. And you are moving Please, so slowly between us. Ross, you warned me that something bad would happen, and I didn't listen to you. I brought this on myself, Ross. I did it. 
Like, I am the one who did this to you, to the woman I love more than anything in the world. No. They don't know if the process is permanent yet. You forgive me. Forgive you? Please. I need to hear those words. <laughs> 